Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing Axe Infinity Arena gameplay. As you guys can see, we are rocking with another and different tank compared to yesterday. Instead of the Dusk with the Parasite and Terror Chomp, we got an aggressive plant. Which should be better, it is more tankier with much much more health. Um, aggressive plant cards. Uh, spicy surprise to disable their mouth cards as well, which is really good for us Risky fish to apply attack damage up and uh, we have the bug our bug move garish worm uh, It's gonna be good especially helping chain Our bug moves on our aqua and our bug axi So yeah, let's go ahead and use it for now Hopefully it'll help us go higher in the arena and as well hopefully bring us higher in um the leaderboards especially in the next coming season i'm thinking this will actually now be my main hopefully but i am just finalizing it up a bit but i do think it actually might be this one so hopefully we can actually do well against it using it i mean all right so we do have a nice combo on our um plant and um, bug type, we can just play um, extra damage right here. So he played three cards. Looks like he played the poison as well, but he's going to be poisoned. And so are we. So it looks like he played all those cards. So looks like he has three cards. He discarded one. He has two cards. So he's going to get three cards next round. But he has three. He only has two energy. So I suppose we could play a pumpkin. Uh, he might steal energy again. Yeah, we can just play pumpkin. Uh, cactus. I think he's gonna play a pumpkin though. Uh, if he does, he probably will. Let's see though. Let's see what happens. He has two energy at the moment since he played all three of his energy last round. So, all right, he skipped. So it looks like we should be able to get the kill here. All right. Now our buddy is at uh seeing. now at hmm, four energy at the moment all right four energy seems that he's gonna play all his energy though one so okay so looks like he has three he used three energy he's gonna get three energy next round probably gonna play all his aqua cards in my opinion right now we can just go ahead and play everything we have here just to shield up and to get some um, energy. So what we're doing here is that I played the Terror Chomp in the middle so that our buddy here is going to get stunned. Um, stunned. But it's not going to work because he is faster than our Axie. The point here is to get the Axie to become sandwiched in between. If that makes sense. Yep, you want it to be sandwiched in between the Aqua and the Bug so that the fear effect will work. I'll be ab able to demonstrate it this coming round all right so right here um, right here I'm gonna play a terror chomp and then what's gonna happen is that the dusk in the middle sandwich between my aqua and the bug is going to get feared so it's gonna miss two turns two moves so if you play two moves okay it looks like he's gonna miss so I'm gonna be he's gonna miss his first two moves. One. Alright, so only one attack of his is gonna hit and didn't even break our shield sadly. Um so yeah, that's gonna be how our build works actually. So yeah, right now I suppose you can just Okay, he's rendered. So yeah, that's basically how our build goes, guys. Um I did play two games using this build and I did one win um, both of them uh, it is actually wishing getting me higher and higher and hopefully I can actually go even higher than I did with my shrimpinator um, hmm. so yeah let's go ahead and hop into our next game <sighs> okay so it looks like we're gonna be up against a tri spike all right this is gonna be fun tri spike all right so what we could do here is we could play all our cards 
we're gonna chain the barb strike we got on our plant with our bug using Thunderclaw. All right, looks like our buddy here skipped. We're gonna be able to disable his vegetal bite so we don't have to worry about him stealing our energy next turn. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do an energy. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack here. All right. So we're gonna be able to do damage to his reptile. Looks like he's skipping because he's trying to get the combo on his discard, I suppose. Hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and deal some damage on his tri spike here. Well, I can. Uh, if he does play his dusk, it probably won't be enough to kill me. Um, okay, looks like he did play some cards on his. Uh, reptile He should be able to kill the um, uh, Plant now depending on his moves 100 probably played two spike throws. Oh, no, uh, disarm and a chomp. All right So yeah, it did crit sadly looks like we're gonna have to Hope we get some good cards here, huh? So it looks like our buddy here did end up skipping. Um, alright. Don't think we're gonna get okay, it crits well. Don't think our buddy here is gonna get a terror chomp. Sassandra Claw. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and play all my cards I have. He's probably gonna play a full card combo here, alright. So looks like we're gonna get chomped as well. But that's gonna be all right since we did play Thunderclaw to remove the chomp, which is gonna be good for us, as well as we're gonna be able to deal a good amount of damage. Good thing is that our buddy here doesn't have any energy. So that's perfectly fine. Hmm. See, I'm gonna go ahead and fear our enemy here. All right, looks like he's not gonna be able to get any attacks done. Since he only has uh, three cards, he's gonna miss two. He's barely gonna even damage our um, bug. We're gonna do a good amount of damage on him. All right, that should be good. Uh, hmm. I suppose we can remove the stun, right? Yeah, we can go ahead and remove the stun on our um, Aqua, and we can just sacrifice our bug. The question is, is that okay? That's gonna be enough. We're not gonna go into last stand, so he's pretty good. So now we're gonna get three cards on our Aqua. We can just do full damage cards away, and we should be totally all right. All right, there it is. So yeah, so that's gonna be totally good, guys. Um, there we go. There, we did clutch the next win. We're at almost 2,100. All right, sorry for that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we are actually doing pretty good with this build. Um, let's go ahead and go into another game. So yeah, we are on a win streak today, which is doing pretty good. All right, looks like we're gonna be up against a double aqua. This is gonna be quite troublesome. Oh wait, but we're faster. All right, um, hmm. Yeah, we can just go ahead and go for full, full damage here. Let's see our buddy went for full damage as well. It's gonna do quite a bit of damage, but he has no energy going into next round. Just gonna be all right for us. Um, the question is, how much damage are we gonna do? 181. All right, that's not bad. I won't complain. So yeah, we can go ahead and discard our buddy here. Shouldn't be a problem. So it looks like he played all his energy. Uh, he's gonna have three energy going into next round. 
question is, is my damage going to be enough? Alright. Okay, that should be enough. Alright. So right now... Hmm. Yeah, we could definitely go for a fear game here. But looks like our buddy here skipped. I wonder why he's skipping. I guess he's skipping for the energy. And we're critting again like crazy. Uh, sadly, we're, we did not get the cards we needed. Question is, is that going to be enough? It should do a good amount of damage to him, right? Um, this is going to be crazy. Okay, looks like he's stunned. Then he's going to go three cards on... He's going to go three cards on the, uh... One... Is that going to be enough? Oh, that's going to be enough. Alright. I'll go ahead and play a swift escape, right? Hmm, question is, if he has enough cards on his aqua, it's GG for us. Okay, he just went three cards. One, two, three. But we should be able to go first. The question is, did I do did I do enough damage? Okay, that's enough. So we should be able to get the kill here, right? Two, three, four. Okay, he doesn't have enough shield, so we should be able to get the kill here. 55 shield, alright, that's more than enough. So good thing we did play Swift Escape to get that speed bonus. Which is going to be good for us. Alright, and the crit as well. So it looks like we won all four of our games today. We are going up as well. Hopefully we can win one, we can have uh, one more video, one more game for the video. That'll be it. Hopefully we can win this one. I see I am going well with this build actually. Um, hmm. So that was good that I did manage to play the poison, not the poison, the um, what do you call it? The swift escape for us to go first for sure. As well that uh, it did give us a bit of shield as well, 20 shield, which is not bad. So yeah, I'll go ahead and go play all my cards here. Uh, Swift Escape Parasite. Alright, let's go ahead. He did play this guy's in a pumpkin, but looks like he's going to waste his pump. Oh, no, pumpkin and uh, poison, which is going to be quite a problem. But that's fine. Alright. You can just go ahead and go play Double Garish Worm here. Just to poison up our buddy here a bit it's like he's playing a lot of cards but we're gonna be able to do some decent amount of damage and good thing is he won't steal any of our energy but he will gain some energy uh, we did get to make use out of our plant before he will kill it the problem here is that I'm not sure if he already played a pumpkin so he won't get another pumpkin because he already played two pumpkins so he had three energy, he played one, but played a disguised. Round two, he used, he got five energy, he used two, gained one. So our boy is at six energy at the moment. I don't know, I kind of want to skip here, honestly. Should we risk it? Should we risk, risk? We'll go ahead and play a parasite for sure. I'll go ahead and play a garish. Just to deal some additional damage. Okay, so it looks like our buddy here skipped. Which is going to be a problem for him. He's going to play um, poison, but obviously that's not going to be a problem since, well... He is going to mess up here. Uh, skipping is totally fine as well. But he does have chomp. Which is something I need to be aware of. Okay, so I'll go ahead and play Sunderclaw. Looks like our buddy skipped again though. Why is he skipping? See all right. All right, so we're gonna discard him again and again. Um, I guess he's waiting for our cards to split, right? So I guess we can discard him this round, and we can just skip, I guess. That's not gonna be enough. Just don't crit, and we're good. As long as he... Ah! 
Oh, he has a wing shot. Oh my gosh. I, I miscalculated. That was that's hilarious. Oh, I had wing shot. I, I forgot about that. He has wing shot. Oh wow. Why didn't I realize that? Okay. Um, that was my mistake. I, I totally forgot he had a wing shot. Um, yeah. So I guess you can just... Alright. Looks like we're gonna get stunned. Alright, so this is gonna be troublesome for us since uh, I didn't make a mistake there. Alright. So it looks like he's just going to keep on stunning us here, which is going to be a problem, as well as slowing us down. Oh no, he won't slow us down. He's just going to really stun us a lot. The good thing is that we have a lot of energy, so... He could stun us, but let's see what ha- Poison's going to get the best of me here. As well as I have no cards, he's just going to- That was my mistake. Ah, I totally- f I, did not, I did not see the wing shot, so... I did manage to lose. He has a chomp already. Yep, it's game over. Yeah, well, that was GGS. Uh, my mistake. I didn't. I thought it was um another Termi. Oh, I, I didn't look at the cards at the back. I got confused. Yep, I kind of did get cocky at the end. But yeah, I guess that's going to be it, guys, for today. Hopefully, you guys um, did enjoy the video. If you guys did, please do like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts below. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll be glad to answer them as well. Um, so yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. And hopefully you guys take care. Until then, um, I hopefully you guys have a great time on your MMR journey. And I'll see you guys later.